welcome to cold with utpal in this video we are going step by step through how to install alfresco content services using the zip distribution this method gives you full control over the setup perfect for developers and architects who want to learn how it all fits together to install alfresco manually we will use java 17 plus application server apache tomcat database postgres sql message broker active mq so please pause this video and make the prerequisites ready when you are ready with the prerequisites we can unzip the distribution file and take the war files to to tomcat server and then copy the war files take it to tomcat web apps folder copy the lib postgres driver to tomcat library folder then copy the shared folder and take it to tomcat folder and then when you are ready with all we should see something like this we have all the war files and okay so here i have done one thing that you we should do the sample global alfresco global property dot sample file copy it and then make another file without the sample extension so here is our global file so the global file should look like something like this you have to define directory root which is the content directory root content and data will be stored so you can define this something according to your uh, file system and then one more thing we need here is the data database so here the default is like you can set alfresco alfresco database alfresco password and alfresco uh, user to to run this basic setup so if we i used pg admin in order to manage postgres uh, database creation user creation you can use your uh, cli if you are comfortable using cli commands then you can use that too so here i created alfresco database and then i used alfresco user and make this user uh, the alfresco owner of the alfresco database once this is done i think you are almost done with the setup now one thing you have to do which is bit of critical and create a set env file that env file should be uh, it would be shared at set env dot batch for the windows system and uh, set env dot sh for the uh, mac or linux system so set env file what it contains is uh, it will have the key store information it is dir key store defining here is not going to work we need vm vm argument java vm arguments so these are these are the arguments that need need to be set so we we are going to use this i am going to share this file in the test 
description box as well as I will upload this to git so if you need this you can just copy paste this one and then change the paths according to your uh, system environment system where the your key store folder is located so key store is like you can copy it from distribution so if you see here this key store you need to take this key store folder so i have taken this and put it under shared location so class path location i have created one folder called key store and under that i kept the metadata key store so you can take this to so if we take this from distribution here we have key store and then metadata key store so this particular folder i have taken and then kept it under tomcat <coughs> shared location classes alfresco extension under that i have taken this key store metadata key store folder and these particular information i have to give under the set env folder so if you see set env here under the bin folder of the tomcat so this is the this is the information okay so let us start tomcat and see how it works so for that i need to start active mq also active mq started and then now i go to start tomcat Yeah, it will take some time. This is going to be very very basic way of doing this. We we want to test how Alfresco is going to be installed. This is not very extensive way or automated way of deployment. All these things we can do one by one. First, we need to understand how it actually works. I mean, we once it is basic thing is done, you can make it. more more professional way of doing it so if i if i go and just access it So this is that means we our alfresco share uh, and alfresco let's see alfresco it should also work the repository side of it yeah 
yes so we, we are successfully deployed very basic setup for the alfresco installation so here you can see this is not going directly to the dashboard uh, there is some modification need to be made so we'll do that in the later videos for this now i'm just saying you can go to user admin dashboard so you may have to do a little bit of tweak in the uh, index file of the share page share application so those things we can do one by one maybe it will be uh, based on your priorities requirements whether you want to use share or you want to use alfresco only so depends on how you want to take it forward some people want to use only the alfresco side of it that is they call it headless headless is like you create your own user interface to connect to repository so we'll discuss all these in the later videos hope you liked it it should be useful if you have any questions feel free to uh, ask me in the comment section or uh, follow me like this video or share it with people who want to use it thanks for tuning in and we'll uh, do the complicated stuff or customization or creating other uh, server side scripts those things we will do in the upcoming videos thank you